Good morning, Mark here from Mark Garage. Back with another video today. Well, today we're been a while since I made a video. I've uh, got a few things on order here for the Panic LA V4S. Uh, gonna be making a few videos here to add to my channel. Uh, the first thing we're gonna look at today is the um, rear master cylinder setup for the V4S. So I've never liked the V4S stock master cylinder, which I have uh, off there on the ground. I have it removed. Uh, it's a cast aluminum 13 millimeter Brembo unit. Uh, OEM uh, doesn't have great feel to be honest. It has never, I've never been able to get the, the rear brake with the cast aluminum caliper as well. I've never been able to get that the feel on it very good. It's never felt the lever's no, but never felt firm. I've, I've bled it several times. I've, I've flipped the rear caliper up on the top side, like like uh, with an underslung caliper. That's kind of what you have to do. And I've just never been able to get uh, the rear brake to work very well on this on this setup. I also don't like the reservoir, which is uh, far away from the uh, the master cylinder itself, and that hose is right in front of the exhaust and the engine and it cooks the brake fluid and uh, it turns brown in the matter of, of, of three or four times riding it. So uh, I wanted to get rid of that, that reservoir and that hose set up there. Anyways, what I've replaced it with is a one piece. I say one piece, but it's actually actually two pieces. Uh, the reservoir is integrated into the master cylinder. This is a Gale Speed. Gale Speed is a Japanese brand, uh, high quality stuff. They're seen on a lot of the, the Japanese uh, spec uh, bikes, and a lot of Japanese uh, super bike series. You'll see them. I have a pair of Gale Speed wheels on on uh, one of my Hondas. Uh, good stuff. Um, fully billet aluminum. 12 millimeter piston versus 13 millimeter piston, so it should change the feel of the master cylinder a little bit, uh, and it integrates that rear re reservoir into the master cylinder itself, so it eliminates the hose in the remote reservoir. Looks pretty trick, more compact, and uh, I'm waiting on a rear caliper because I, I went ahead and did the Brembo uh, billet aluminum caliper for the rear as well too. Uh, so look for another video on that. So I haven't bled these brakes yet and uh, and tried them out, but I did want to show you the uh, the uh, master cylinder. You can get this master cylinder it's several places. I got this one I think from Graves Motorsports for around 500, 500 bucks. Now I did have to make a few modifications to make it work on the Ducati Panic LAV4. So first off, it comes with a threaded rod end, two springs. Uh, various different mounting brackets. These are the mounting brackets and they slide. See, they slide in a channel. The rear one slides in a channel on the back of the master cylinder, so it's fully adjustable. Mounting it up uh, was not a problem, with one exception. So the on the Panigale V4, the master cylinder mounts through the threaded side of the rear sets and it's front mounted. Okay, this master cylinder here had threaded threads on the bosses itself, so it was designed to be used on the back side. So what I had to do was was just uh, drill the threads out of these holes uh, and 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 use the thread use this as a use the threads in the rear sets versus uh, not a big deal at all. And then the second thing I really had to do was. Uh, the uh, rod link, the rod end, the heim joint and the rod and didn't, wasn't long enough, wasn't near long enough to, to reach the bottom. The, the Jill's real sets, they came with a custom, a rod end and a spring set up anyways. It was quite a bit longer than the factory one. Uh, it came with this plastic uh, standoff here this plastic tapered standoff there, and then uh, its own longer uh, 
brought in there. And what I had to do is remove the one from the Gale Speed Master cylinder, disassemble it. There's a snap ring in there. And then this ball, ball in in the Gale Speed Master cylinder uh, fits up inside here. Well, the Jill's reel sets. Uh, the rod end doesn't have a ball on the end of it. It does have a rounded end on the rod, but it didn't have a ball, so I wasn't able to uh, use it to secure up inside there, but uh, it did work. You know, it's I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. Uh, that's the way that the OEM one uh, fit up in the Brembo uh, rear master cylinder well. It just, it just kind of slid... It just kind of slid up in there and, and pushed against the piston. So, same thing with with the with the uh, Gale Speed. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think it'll work just fine. Uh, but those are a couple things you need to be aware of if you do buy this uh, master cylinder for the uh, for the V4. It's not a, not an exact swap. You will have to uh, disassemble the Gale Speed a little bit, um, and just depending on what rear set you're running, you may have to play around a little bit with the rod end. It may work with uh, certain other brands of rear sets, but with the the, the uh, Jills, uh, it really didn't work. But overall, I'm impressed with this product. Uh, I knew it wouldn't be a, a straight up swap, uh, but uh, it does uh, fit just fine. You got plenty of clearance with the reservoir against the heat shield. I know some people that have run the uh, the Suter. Uh, rear uh, master cylinder that has a round uh, reservoir have run into issues with uh, with that. So uh, overall, I'm impressed with this. Uh, we'll uh, say get the caliper in and get that installed and get everything bled and uh, see what we think about it. Overall, pretty cool looking uh, piece of hardware there. I'm excited over the next uh, few weeks. To make a few more videos, I got some parts, more parts coming in, and I'll uh, upload them as I get them and install them. Uh, have a great day. Mark here from Mark's Garage out. Uh, like, click, and subscribe if you like my videos. Bye-bye.